Adams Graham Clark is joining us here on Proactive London today. Hello to Graham. Hi Katie, hi everybody. We really wanted to get you back because you've had an update on what's happening at Chemiset. So the completion of all the work streams required for this environmental and social impact assessment for the Chemiset Potash project in northern Morocco has been done. So what exactly happens now, Graham? Fill us in. Okay, well, we've, this is the culmination of a, of a lot of work and the team's done a great job on, on producing some great documentation. So this is we've pulled together the baseline study, which started at the beginning of the project development and then the environmental and social impact assessment, which started in January. And now all of that's, that's been completed and the documentation now goes into the hands of the relevant authorities in Morocco uh, for them to assess it and all being well, as we, we fully expect, to give us approval uh, in some sometime early in 2021. All oh, right, early 2021. That's the timeline for this, is it? Yes. Well, we've we're, we've we've said that we need to get it in the first half of next year, but um, all being well, it'll be in, in you know earlier on in the year, and that's what we we hope will be the case. This is obviously one of the key pieces of, of the jigsaw that we need to put in place yeah. um, for us to be able to move forward into construction. So we're, we're very pleased with the work that's been done. And, and I can't you know, thank the team enough who've, who've put all of the, the hard miles into actually pulling this together. And Graham, remind us again why it's important that you do this. Well, we, you know, we, the approach that we take and, you know, we use the line, do the right things and do them in the right way. And that, that really, it's a very simple sentence, but it covers everything, everything every company should do, you know, in the approach to, to what they're doing, particularly in developing a project. Um, we've got to make sure that that we minimise the impact and maximise the benefits of this to, to for all of our stakeholders um, and obviously our shareholders. But you know, for us to be able to do that, we have to do it right. And we we followed the um, IFC guidelines, you know, global standards. We've done more than would necessarily be expected or required in Morocco. We're, we're doing this, you know, to meet the the, the highest standards there are um, in assessing the the impacts. And we'll make sure that you know the findings that, that we've that's come out of all of this study work feeds into our design and, and we build this project with the least impact to the environment and you know and, and socially in the area and also to generate the biggest benefits we, we did our social economic study fairly recently which we've talked about yeah. you know the aim here is that that we, we bring the biggest benefits we can in terms of employment to the economy that means the project is as good as it can be, which means the returns are as good as they can be for, for everybody involved, all our stakeholders. And just before we let you go, just give us a bit of a hint as the, to the potential opportunity that is here. Um, well, you know, this, this, this project is the outstanding project in the, in the potash space. There's, there's no question of that, low capex, high margins, it is a truly great project. And, you know, with my experience of the potash industry and, and project development, you know, it really does stand out. You know, we're, we're massively undervalued at the moment for, for the, you know, for what this project is. But we, we've been moving at pace. We're going to continue to do that and push on through next year. We're hoping to get the, you know, the finance structure in place by the middle of next year and, and into construction at the end of next year. And, you know, there's going to be a huge uplift in value for this project during that time. Busy 2021 ahead then for you. That's yeah. Evans. Graham Clark joining us here on Proactive London today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Katie. Bye.